So, it's been a while since I've uploaded, it's been about 14, 13 days, I'm sorry about that, I've been very busy, but, um, you know, before my time as becoming a YouTuber, I actually played a lot of competitive official matches, I was captain of a few of the most successful teams in the game, and I also made it to finals, I made it to semi-finals multiple times in both CGT and GTC but um, you know I finished up my time in GTC I uh, secured my own first season win and I got banned after that so I quit playing competitive as a whole and started focusing on the game as friends but but I still remain good from those. I have all the muscle memory. Becoming gr good at Gorilla Tech really isn't hard at all. It's all muscle memory. Um, so I'm gonna show you five, five tricks that help me get better and five tricks that will help you maintain that muscle memory to get better at Gorilla Tech competitive wise. This isn't for Publix. You can use them in Publix, but it's not necessary. This is for more advanced players. Um, so yeah, here we go. Alright, so first off, um, I think most importantly, uh, being able to get away from monkeys, you need to really cut off, cut off the eyesight. If you cut off eyesight, they have no idea where you are, and you just play really smart, they're gonna have to try to cut you off, and if they don't predict you right, then you've completely lost them. And one of the best ways to cut off any Lava Monkey's eyesight is playing double walls. Now, there's a couple mechanics that I'd say I use the most, and I use in almost every, every, every single lobby I play in. Um, I'll teach you how to do it, and I'll try to explain it as best as I can. All right. So, the first mechanic I'm going to show you on double walls is, it's actually pretty simple, but it's amazing. And a lot of people that don't do this often won't predict it, and they also might not even know how to do it. It's, it it'll catch you off guard very easily. Now, you could either start on this double wall, or this double wall, it doesn't matter. But basically the gist of it is, is when you go up, you go around and grab it and pull yourself around. Now, the reason why this is good is because if someone's chasing right behind you, it'll immediately cut off eyesight and they will not be able to see you. They'll be able to stick out your arm, but I'll teach you something with this mechanic that it'll make it even better, even if you, you don't use it that way. Now, the way that you do it is when you come around and you're landing on this side, you want to keep your hand behind you a little bit, behind your butt a little bit, so it'll grab the wall. So. When jumping off, you want to stick your arm out behind you and cup your arm around and pull straight back. Um, usually you'd want to use this a lot higher, but you know, for example purposes, it's kind of lower. And then from there on, you could either go straight up the double wall or another thing that I do instead of going all the way to the top is Instead of going all the way to the top, what I'll do is I'll usually stop about here or I'll go up a little bit more and pull my arm out and jump here and make my escape that way. Now, a lot of the times lava monkeys won't predict this and even if they do, they'll mess up and they'll be on the low ground and you'll have immediate high ground. They won't be able to catch up to you. As long as you go right away and you don't hesitate, immediate distance that's my first trick and here's the next the next tip i'm going to teach you or mechanic is crouch jumping now crouch jumping is not allowed in the competitive servers like gtc or cdt but gorilla tag doesn't really enforce it um so if you're ever playing in a gtc code or you're playing a public lobby and you want to get away from someone pretty easily that is chasing you you can crouch jump to maybe a higher place or when you're branching you could use it in routes to get to somewhere faster than a normal monkey would because you're moving through the air faster now let me show you a more advanced example and then i'll show you an easier example for ways that maybe some people that aren't as good as it will be able learn it now I'm all the way up here, and the lava monkey that does not have boost 
would not be able to make this jump normally. They wouldn't even be able to follow you. So that is like almost infinite distance. Let me show you another example. Okay. With this jump right here, I can easily make it to here without crouching. Easily. It's pretty, pretty easy. But if I can include a crouch jump into my route, if I jump from here and crouch jump there, I go up much, much, much faster than any normal monkey would. So if I have someone chasing me, and even even with a point millisecond difference, it really, really, really makes a difference. Now this is another pretty obvious tip, but the biggest tip I can give to newer players that are trying to get better is avoid the ground at all costs. Unless it is very necessary, or you don't have anyone chasing you, please do not touch the ground. You're not the fastest player in the game, and you won't not, you will not outrun the lava monkeys. Um, the best way to staying alive in the game is staying up high where you have the advantage to juke anyone. If anyone falls, they instantly lose low ground. If you're branching high and they fall, they instantly on the low ground and they will not be able to chase you. Um, make sure you're always rotating. Rotating is very important. Just going around the map. If you can't rotate around the whole map on walls, then rotate around the map on branches. There's plenty of easy, easy, easy long jumps that you could do that don't require play space at all. That will easily get you across the map. That is the most important and the best tip I could ever, ever, ever give you is stay off the ground. Even if you're good at, even if you think you're good at ground, do not touch the ground. I'm begging you, please. So for my fourth tip, I'd say learn long jumps. Long jumps are super, super, super important to Gorilla Tag and probably one of the main fundamentals to competitive Gorilla Tag. You need long jumps to get around the whole map. Long jumps will help easily for rotation to get you away from other monkeys. Now, when you do long jumps that require precise timing and a small area to hit, it's a lot, lot harder for a lava monkey to chase you when you're doing these jumps because, I mean, if they miss, they could fall and you have infinite distance. Now, even if the lava monkey is still chasing you you're still in a better spot in the map because you're long jumping to a completely different area and you have a brand new fresh start to get away now this is an example of an easy one that a lot of pros use commonly and i'll show you a few more Alright, this last tip, tip number five, is honestly the only reason why I'm here today. Um, slip slaps, slippery walls are kind of my thing, and I've been basically abusing them ever since, I mean, they've been a thing. Um, but learning slip slaps is honestly the craziest mechanic in the game because you have infinite rotation distance, you can go across the map, and you can escape any, co any crowd of monkeys at all. Um, let me show you an example of my favorite one that I do every single game. Now, that one usually takes more people a lot longer time to learn. But, you know, you need to learn slip slaps. There's a lot of simple slip slaps, and I know at some point you need to be making your own slip slaps. I've made some of the most popular slip slaps in the game. Like Onyx of Slap, I created that a while ago. I made another slip slap called God Slap a while ago, and I've made a lot more that a lot of people can't do right now because they're kind of intricate. But always practice slip slaps. You can get across the map and fly like a birdie, birdie. Now that one. A lot of people I haven't really seen do much. It is, I mean, a lot of people know how to do it, but I don't see people using it enough. It lets you get all the way across Death Wall, and you might even trick people into thinking you're going over towards Bagel Tree from there. But in reality, you're going all the way to Second Tallest. It's like infinite distance from any monkey ever.
that's another slip step I do pretty commonly in almost every lobby. I actually haven't, I've only seen one other person be able to do that in a lobby that I've played in. But I think that is probably one of my best slip steps right now because I can just pinch climb all, all the way around and go all the way to tallest. Well, I might have even juked a monkey right there, which is what usually happens. Um, but yeah, those are my main examples of my slip steps. The slip steps are very, very important. Every pro uses them in the game to get away. If you really, really want to like get to the next level of your competitive, I guess, career, you should really, really, really be learning slip steps because it is seriously one of the most important things in the game. But um, other than those five tips, um, those are kind of the main fundamentals of what you need to know. If you like the video, then like the video. If you like this type of content, just sub to my channel.